What's up? It's Amal, back at it again with another video. This time, my first ever makeup video. This is kind of a big deal for me. I'm really worried. I know people are very particular about makeup and the videos they watch, but I'm gonna say this is just a cash get ready with me. It's like, imagine like we're getting ready for an event, we're next to each other, I'm putting on my makeup, you're putting on your makeup, we're just chatting, we're just being gals. That's what's happening in this video right now. I know there's probably a lot of things I'm gonna do not correct, but we're just having fun, we're chatting. Today I'm gonna be doing a look that I did last feed and I've been wearing a bunch, either in pictures or just like casually when I'm like feeling a little fancy. It's an homage to the like late 90s obsession with blue eyeshadow. Blue eyeshadow is something that I used to wear when I was like, in middle school and I wanted to like be cute. So I feel like it's making a comeback and I'm here for it. Also, quick shout out to Hijab Glamour for providing your girl with this hijab I'll be wearing today. It's one of my favorite hijab sites, so make sure to go over and check them out. Okay, I've definitely been stalling, but now it's time to get to the makeup. I've already prepped and primed this face of mine, and the next step is sunscreen. Now, the sunscreen I've been loving these days is the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. It's SPF 40. If you're not wearing sunscreen by now, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Sunscreen's super important, and this one's really good because it's very, very sheer, and it doesn't leave a white cast when I wear it. So I've been loving this guy. It's something that I've been um, especially adding to my makeup routine now that it's summer. And LA is like so hot right now. Like I was like complaining for the last few weeks about how we're not getting summer weather, and all of a sudden it's been like in the 80s the entire week. So the next step I usually do is I moisturize my lips as I'm putting the rest of my face on so by the time I get to my lips, they can already be super soft and smooth. My favorite lip balm is a classic. It's Vaseline Cocoa Butter. This little cute tube is so cute and little and it fits in your bag and honestly, it's my favorite. Like, I've used super expensive lip balms, I've used like other brands, but for some reason this one just always gives me like the right amount of moisture and I love it. Now it's time for foundation. My everyday foundation is definitely not this one I'm gonna talk about right now. This is like for fancy occasions or my regular one is like just for everyday. But for my super fancy makeup looks, I always use the La Mer Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation with SPF 20. So this has more sunscreen, which is great. This foundation is, she's a little expensive. I got it from a friend, but honestly, this foundation is really great because it's very skin-like, it is buildable, and I love wearing it like literally only special occasions, but it's, it's a great foundation. I've been loving wearing it, especially in the summer because it's been really easy to wear and it doesn't feel very heavy when I wear it. On to the chit chat. What's been going on, everybody? What's happening? For me, I always felt, and let me know if you all feel this way too. I always felt like summer, I felt extremely pressured to like have like the most fun that I possibly can when I was younger. I was like, okay, it's summertime, gotta have a lot of fun, gotta hang out with all my friends, gotta go on a lot of trips. And then I like blinked and summer was over and I like never really got to do everything I wanted to do. So as an adult, I try to like pace myself. I feel the same way, honestly, where I'm like, okay, summertime, gotta do all the things. But I feel like these days, especially that it's like, it's August and everyone knows August is the Sunday of summer. I'm trying to make my list of things I wanna do for the summer as little as possible so I can actually have fun. So my foundation's in, it looks really light in this camera, but I promise you it's not that light IRL. Next step is concealer. This is my favorite concealer. It's the Tarte Shape Tape in Deep Sand. I got this next trick from Jackie Aina, my girl. She says that if you put on your concealer, if you wait just a few minutes to let it set, that it actually does a better job staying and that it gives you more coverage. So we're gonna be multitasking. As this is setting, I'm gonna be doing my brows. For my eyebrows, I love using Benefit products. This time I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the number five. Gotta be honest, my eyebrow lady played me yesterday. 
Like I went to my eyebrow lady who I've been going to for a long time and I feel like this time and the last time, like I don't know, maybe she's distracted, maybe we got like secret beef, but I just feel like she's not really giving me all that she used to give me before. Every time I come back, I'm like, I don't know if I really love you as much as I should. I don't really stress about them, I just like, fill them in and like hope for the best. Something else that I have been obsessed with this summer is Love Island. If you have been on the internet at all, I bet you either have at the very least heard of Love Island or are super annoyed because all of your friends are just talking about it nonstop. Before I talk about that though, let me talk about my brow gel. For my brow gel, I'm gonna use Hourglass Brow Shaping Gel. It's really good. I have never been a brow gel gal, but like, I feel like lately, especially after I use this product, kind of feeling it. Back to Love Island. So Love Island is a British reality show, and the way that I explain it to my American friends is that it is a combination of The Bachelor and Big Brother. It's basically like a group of British singles. They live in this house all summer and they have to couple up or they're eliminated essentially. That's like the easy way to explain it. But like throughout that, there's like twists and turns. They sometimes have to like eliminate each other. Sometimes the audience votes. Before you take on this show, just know that it comes on every single day. It's over now for the summer, but when it was airing, it came on every single day except for Saturday. And let me tell you, I watched every single day. The next thing I do is my contour. I do a very baby contour, but for my contour, I use the True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance. This is one of my favorite palettes. It has a really good highlighter too, but I do a very, very light contour because if I don't do a light contour, I look back and I'm like, <laughs> girl. This brush that I use is Real Techniques. Now we're getting into the eye area. First I use a pressed powder on my lids because I have very oily lids. It's the only part of my face that's oily. The rest of my face is pretty dry. With the combination of the oil and the crease, if I don't do something to combat that, all of my eyeshadow just ends up in that crease and it ruins, ruins everyone's night, ruins my night. It just, it's not a good time. So. I learned a really good trick that if you put pressed powder on your eyelids, it soaks up the oil, but it also makes like a really good foundation for, really good foundation to build your eyeshadows off of. I use the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder in Dark, and that's just my go-to one. Um, I know that you could probably use other ones as well, but this one does a really good job, just, you know, giving me a good foundation that I can attempt to do this look with. Oh, I appreciate all of your comments, by the way, saying you really like how I edit my videos. That seriously means a lot to me because I learned how to edit maybe a year and a half ago. I taught myself, I essentially learned on the job. Like, I had very little training. I just like asked a lot of questions and watched a lot of YouTube videos. And for a lot of you asking for tips, I would just say that, I would say, Everything you need to learn is on YouTube. I learned most basic things by asking people, but for all of the more like advanced things, well, first of all, I don't think I even do like super advanced things, but for everything I do know how to do, I have learned from YouTube. For those of you who are curious, I do use Premiere. If you have a simple software that you could just do basic cuts and edits with, that's all you really need. So don't like believe the hype that you need this really fancy equipment or you need years of experience. Just start and learn while you gotta learn. If you have a friend that knows how to edit, just ask them. It really doesn't take much to start, just do it. Google everything else, you'll be able to f figure it out. I promise you, just make sure that you start and don't let that hold you back because one of the things that I have learned more than anything else is that if you just start, and you learn the rest on the go, you are gonna be so proud of yourself because you're actually doing the thing you wanted to. And no matter what, you're going to be worse now than you will in the future, regardless. So even if you think you're pretty good or whatever, you are going to be better in the future. So just take that as like motivation instead of something to hold you back. 
Okay, so now that my eyelids are primed, it's time to start with the eyeshadow look. Now, before you come at me for my technique, just know that this eyeshadow look is meant to look like messy. Think Rihanna's tutorials for Fenty, like how she just like put on the color really, really high up to her eyebrows just a block of color, that's what I'm thinking for this look. So for this look, I'm gonna be using primarily the Tarte Pro Remix palette. So for the main blue color, I use this color right here, Color Explosion on the side. It's like a really pretty aqua. So essentially I start here. Not looking too bad. So this YouTube journey has been a really eye-opening one. I had no idea I was gonna get this type of support. I didn't know how people would respond. Like, it was kind of a random thing for me to do, essentially, because I was a law student. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this YouTube channel and be a content creator. And I didn't know how people in my life would take that, but everyone was just, so incredibly supportive, all of you, the comments, the DMs I'm getting. For me, I, I'm i still kind of figuring out a lot of things. For a long time, I felt such a pressure to like have it all figured out, especially when it came to what I was gonna do for my career. I feel like I had to define what I was, define my career, my life in like a single sentence, and I couldn't do it. And for a long time, I was like worried about that. Cause I felt everyone else was like, I'm a lawyer, I'm a doctor, I'm an engineer, I'm, I'm this very easily describable thing. And I felt like what I wanted to do was not easily describable. I don't have a single thing right now that I want to do. I have a category of things I want to do. I want to tell stories because I'm primarily a storyteller, but I'm not in a place right now to be like, I want to define this as what I want to do. If it feels right, if YouTube feels right, I want to keep doing that. I love making docu-series. As you all know, I'm working on two. I love writing. I love producing. I love directing. I love just making content that speaks to people. And if that's working, then I want to do that. But if that is something that doesn't really speak to me anymore, then I want to do something else. And that's okay too. So yeah, I'm like working on feeling less apologetic about that. The next step of this is to add the pop of color in the middle. I use a lighter blue for this one. I use Art Deco, which is this light blue guy right here. And I just pop that in the center of my lid. So let's do that. The final step of the eyeshadow look is the inner corner. I put a little yellow in the inner corners. So I use, for that one, I use this yellow right here called Outside the Lines, edgy. Eyeshadow complete. Now it's time for the eyeliner. For my eyeliner, I use my favorite eyeliner, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's amazing. Eyeliner done, eyeshadow done. Now it's time for the mascara. The mascara that I use, oh, surprise, surprise, also Tarte. It's the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. Next is highlighting my face. For that, I'm gonna be using this, oop, it's really reflective and very dirty. This Bobbi Brown highlighting palette. It's called Bobbi to Glow Highlighting Trio. I'm gonna be using Nectar Glow. It's very, very pretty. It's time now to do the lips. For me, I love doing just a very basic neutral lip. The eyeshadow is the star of the show, so I'm just gonna use a very, very simple nude lip look. So first, I'm gonna use this NYX lip crayon. It's kind of like a purpley color. We are going to put this NYX butter gloss over it in the color Praline. This is like a really big go-to of mine. I feel like anything that I put this on top of, it just looks a lot better. 
So I'm just gonna add this right on top. So there you go, everybody. This is the finished look. I hope you had fun chatting with me. I know, I know, it probably looks like a lot for a lot of you, but if you do wanna get into brighter colors, bolder statement makeup, then yeah, why not try this out? Thanks so much for watching. Seriously, the support has been amazing. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, just click that red button and click that bell button as well. It will tell you when I upload and make sure that you follow me on Instagram so you know what I get up to when I'm not, when I'm not talking to you on this channel. See you next time.